G'day to you. Welcome to yet another episode of the Lunch and Learn. Right about now you're watching the uh, replay. So I want you to type in the number two uh, so that we can understand where our audience is coming from and what time they get to watch the show and today we're going to be talking about a simple branding strategy that you can use so that you can actually compete with the bigger companies because what you know right now about Facebook ads and about reaching your audience in Facebook is all going to change in the next 24 uh, months I'm not sure if you've noticed um, you know that Facebook has been changing the way um, you know they're letting you reach your audience in the news feed and so you need to evolve in order to stay relevant so type in the number two so that we can understand at what stage you watch this video. And mainly if you're watching this section, you're watching the um, replay of it. Okay, so now we're starting the um, main event. Um, obviously, if you're watching this um, video, you would understand that um, I viscerally believe that every online business should be profitable and people should actually enjoy um, you know uh, working within their businesses and I also believe that you know if you're an online business person you should be able to create for and relate to your audience and especially those people you're gonna be demanding money off of my name is Prosper Tarovinga by the way and I basically teach a four step oh if you can see it a four step system that is designed for coaches consultants uh, service professionals so that you can package brand and market your services and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable I see Taff has just tuned in my man hope you're having a fantastic um, week so far I have just uh, looked at your email and um, yeah let's get in touch and let's see how we can do this so every single day at 2 p.m. at EST we sit around here and then we you know we discuss how we can help you um, you know reach your audience and actually um, start scale and grow a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable and we will be helping you build systems within your business so that your business will actually be operating on autopilot now I want you to realize that um, we build sales overnight, but we build brands over time. Cool. Now going back, going on to today's show, basically, um, we're going to be talking about how you can actually be omnipresent within your industry and how you can actually be relevant to your audience. And if you would notice soon, everything that they taught you about Facebook ads, everything that they taught you about lead generation is going to stop working. The reason being Facebook has become a business and they are going under, um, you know, the, the, the disguise of wanting to be relevant to the end user. But we all know that this is all to do with them wanting money from all the businesses that are out there. And it's become difficult for them to actually um, figure out whether all the information we're putting on the social platform, is it relevant? Is it needed by the audience, etc., etc.? Hence, they're putting all these, um, you know, blockades uh, for us to not be able to reach our audience. So, obviously, if you have been finding it difficult to reach your audience on Facebook, can you type in the number one? The reason being, um, I want to see if this video is going to be relevant for you because I can guarantee you right now that in the next 24 months, Direct lead generation will be inaccessible for most businesses soon and especially small to medium businesses and everything that you actually thought about Facebook advertising and lead generation is not going to be working. Now the reason is the big guys have arrived and they're bringing in a huge budget that Facebook is actually um, enjoying at the moment. I don't know if you've noticed um, in, in your news feed lately, um, people like Tel Telstra, are advertising a lot, um, you know, people like Ernest and Young are advertising a lot, people like Fitness First are also advertising a great deal. Now, these are really big companies that we grew up watching, these are really big companies that we know about, we know about their 
um, you know, the, the, the expansion and, and the budgets. So can you imagine if you're a digital marketer like myself, Tels Telstra is selling websites to small, medium businesses. Telstra is selling um, digital activities and digital marketing services to small, medium businesses. Now, they can be omnipresent, they can be relevant because they're already known, they're already trusted, and people would just easily do business with the enemy or with the devil that is well known. So now, if you're like me, I mean, obviously, the majority of um, small business owners that I know, you can't compete with Telstra um, when it comes to their budget because they're taking off whatever budget they were putting on billboards, on TV, and they're just throwing it onto Facebook. And you know what I mean? It has taken them more than five years to actually see that this is a channel that would work for them. So you should also look within your industry, which other big players are actually now starting to advertise. And you will be surprised to see that now the, the, the budgets are going to be big and if you were hoping to reach an audience through Facebook, um, you know, you, you're going to have to have really, really deep pockets. You will also notice people like Coca-Cola, they're becoming omnipresent in your, in your newsfeed. As such, what worked for you yesterday or what is working for you today in the online marketing space I can guarantee you that it's not going to be working tomorrow and you actually now need to evolve or you're going to be dying. But then obviously, um, you know, the good news is evolving is not so hard lately. You know what I mean? Um, you know, the, 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 the fact that brand awareness and you reaching out to your audience was done through maybe LinkedIn or was done through maybe, um, you know, Facebook. There's one strategy that I can guarantee you that if you utilize it perfectly and if you calculate your resources, you'll be able to use to actually compete at the same level as Telstra, as the same level as Coca-Cola, especially in these early days. You know what I mean? And this... um strategy in and of itself it helped me to generate over should i say close to a quarter of a million you know we in, in brand new business that was between 2015 and 2016 and i grew an email list that spanned over 5,000 people spending not a lot in advertising and how did i do this i um I'll be telling you a little bit later, but this whole strategy is what then created the online prosperity blueprint. And I've also helped some of my clients to do the same, but it is only until recently that I then connected the dots because you can't connect the dots looking forwards. You can only connect the dots looking uh, backwards. And I've also realized that big people like Tel Telstra, big people like uh, McDonald's, big people like Pepsi or Coca-Cola, they've been doing this for years and years. You know what I mean? It is, it is so simple that if you look at it, you'd be like, oh my God, I can also do this. You know, and, and it is a brand strategy that you can continuously do without you having to worry about, you know, being thwarted by the big competition. And it's only to do with two simple words. All right. Are you ready for the two words? All right. If you're ready for these two simple words that will change your brand strategy, I want you to just hit the like button. That will just help me understand the kind of people that are watching and if it is actually relevant for you there. Just hit the like button right now and I'll tell you the two words that will change your brand strategy and you will be competing at the same level as big companies like Telstra and, um, and Coca-Cola. I'm gonna tell you the two words. It's being omnipresent and being relevant, all right? Being omnipresent and being relevant. It's that simple. Just be found where your customers are searching and be relevant when they find you. At the end of the day, what I'm now starting to realize is everybody has been spraying and praying with their marketing. But if you're, you're seen almost everywhere else, and I'll show you how to be seen almost everywhere else, and you are also um, relevant and your, your, your information is useful and has practical um, results for your audience, guess what? Nine times out of 10, they will seek you out. 
All right. So I'm going to explain how to be omnipresent and I'm going to explain how to be relevant. I mean, you would also notice or you can tell that I've been seen in newspapers. I've been seen on TV. I've been seen on blogs. I also do personal interviews. I also um, seen uh, I'm also seen on other people's, um, you know, podcasts. I'm also seen on other people's channels. Once you become omnipresent, once you are seen in so many different places, first of all, it increases your authority. And second of all, people just get to know, like, and trust you because you can't be, be everywhere else. Um, you know, if people don't trust you, if other people don't respect your content, or if other people don't see you as a relevant individual or as a thought leader. Okay. So from now on, you know what? Getting new leads and putting them into your fancy funnels is going to cost you a lot more money and it's going to offer you fewer results. Because like I said, if people don't see you, if you're not top of mind and if your, your content is not relevant, out of sight, out of mind, no matter how much you're going to be you know, paying to be on in, in people's news feeds, if you're not relevant and if they don't see you elsewhere, you're going to run out of money, you're going to run out of steam and people are not going to even care. You know why? Because your clients right now are being bombarded with so much content. And if your content is not relevant, you only have one opportunity to make a lasting impression. So all these big fish that you're seeing in your newsfeed right now, they're making it possible. And, 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 and you know, they're going to make it, um, they're making it possible because they're seen everywhere, but they're going to make it impossible for every one of the small businesses to survive. You know why? Because... You can't have the same budgets or you don't have deep enough pockets like they do. So competing with them is going to be like you walking in quicksand. All right. So why not just become a big fish in your very own small pond? All right. By being omnipresent for your audience and being relevant. So how do you, how do you do this now? Because the future of marketing now, re, now rests upon you being seen. You being relevant and you being omnipresent. And if you really want to build trust with your audience, you need to distribute the right kind of content to them. You need to educate them. You need to be inspirational, providing them with value and positioning yourself. And you do this by being omnipresent. And you're sending it at the right kind of time and depending on what um, you know stage of their business they are or life they are. And you need to appear as if you're everywhere. This is what I've done in the last two years. And, um, you know, that's why some of you uh, normally ask, hey, Prosper, I see your stuff everywhere else. How do you do that? Simple, be relevant and be omnipresent. And for you to achieve this and become the go-to authority within your, 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 your niche and your audience to actually um, see you everywhere else, you need to, pres and it automatically makes them think that you're the real deal. As long as you're being relevant within your niche there. All right. Now you might be asking, okay, I don't have the budget or the time to be omnipresent. First of all, if you've got those as your limiting beliefs or as your objections, you've already lost the game. Because right now, if you're not creating for and relating to your audience, you've already lost the game. No matter how many ads you're going to be putting out there, no matter how much, um, um, you know, how much time you, you're going to put a status update, etc., etc. If they don't see you out of sight, out of mind. So with this brand awareness strategy that I'm, I'm giving you, you can actually become a big fish in a, in a small pond. Practically, this can also happen to you overnight. You're starting to build all those intimate connections with your audience, which is something that a, a, a funnel would never be able to do, which is something that automation would never be able to do, or any campaign that you might be paying for right now on Facebook is never going to achieve you being omnipresent because the more you pay, the more you're seen. And what happens when you stop paying? What happens when you, 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 you don't see results and you stop your campaign? That means you're not seen anywhere else, you know? And I'm not saying that creating a funnel is wrong, but what you need to spend more time is being seen, being relevant, and being there. Do you know what I mean? You need to seem as if you're appearing everywhere in your audience um, life. That is through maybe search engine. When they type in in Google, are you found at, as one of the, the results that they, um, you know, they see um, you know, when they're searching? 
and you need to be providing relevant content. As soon as they type in, they find you at the right time. That means you have to know who your actual audience is. And then I'll also be showing you how, even if you're using Facebook ads right now in a way that a few people are not actually doing, you know, but soon you will be able to do this. So if you really want to change or evolve your brand overnight, you need to start adopting a brand awareness strategy, um, which is literally um, outside what um, outside what you're doing right now. All right. So by being omnipresent, your main objective is to create and share relevant information. All right. Now, people are coming to the Internet to get information. And if they're going to be getting that information from you, guess what happens? You become the one they know, like and trust. And the standard way that we're using right now to create and nurture, um, you know, for content is we're, we're creating content. For example, this live video that I'm speaking to you right now, we're creating maybe an ad that would then help to, to share this video. All right. And then you're going to be placing um, maybe a blog or some sort of, um, you know, um, a blog or some sort of correspondence on Instagram or on LinkedIn pertaining to that piece of, um, you know, content that you have put out there. Are you doing that at the moment for your business? You know, are you creating content regularly so that your, your clients are getting that information from you? That is how you, you, you stay relevant because when you know what your audience wants, when, when you know what your audience is going through, what their needs are, and you're putting content out there, they start seeking you out. You know, sometimes it doesn't result in sales today. Sometimes you might not have people watching your videos, but you would know that in post-production, somebody's going to look at that video and get knowledge from it. That's how you stay omnipresent to them. We are now living in an on-demand market where people are busy right now, but it doesn't mean they won't look you up or they won't stumble across um, you know, your content when you put it out there. But then half of the people will not do it just because nobody's watching their videos. Half of the people will not um, you know, continuously put content out there just because they're not getting the instant feedback. The more you start looking for other people's feedback, the more you start looking for validation from other people, it will stop you from creating relevant content. And guess what you're doing to yourself? You are looking for other people's validation, yet you are not validating your own existence within the market. And that's why some other marketers give up. You know, sure, you may send an odd email here and there, but that's not enough. Nobody's watching at the time that you expect them to be watching. Nobody is, is sitting around waiting for your content. Or nobody's sitting around waiting for your video when you put it out there. But if you put it with your utmost faith, with your utmost, you know, um, you, you know, perseverance and showing people that you actually want to help them by actually helping them. Guess what's going to happen? Somebody's going to take notice. You know, and at this point, you now become hyper relevant in, in front of your target's, uh, uh, your target's eyes. Because you know what they say, those that, um, those that mind don't matter, but those that mind actually don't. So figure out who your exact audience is, go to where they should be, leave trails, because success leaves cool clues, and start appearing everywhere. This is where the brand awareness strategy comes in now. You know what I mean? And in general, there's like four types or four pieces of content that you can share with your audience at this stage. I've got a hundred, um, you know, a hundred uh, content piece document that I created. And um, if you're interested in knowing about the hundred content strategies, just type in content tips and I'll send you through the free PDF that I created so that you too can actually figure out how do I create content that makes you become omnipresent. First of all, you can do an article. Second, you can do, you know, a live video like this, or you can create a long form uh, post or an infographic, or, or you can come up with an authority piece, maybe a case study or a testimonial from one of your current customers or a featured piece in a large publication. If you notice, I hit each and every one of those touch points every single day of my entire existence. You know why? You never know where your clients are going to be. You never know where your audience is when they're searching. So the, the, the whole 
you, you should also have goals within your content strategy. Now, the aim of putting out this content is not to, to, to get instant leads, but guess what you do? When you pixel that piece of content, you can then now send relevant information just to find out where that customer really is in, 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 in their buyer's journey. You know, and the aim of this content is not to create leads at all. The point is to show up in your audience newsfeed time and time again. So you become constant presence in their life. Because as you know, out of sight, out of mind. And then initially they will, you know, start. Sometimes they might not consume any of it. But after seeing your face again and again, you know, you become an authority. You know, because you are now familiar to them. And because people do business with those they know, like, and trust, you become omnipresent within their existence. You become relevant as long as you're doing the right thing and putting out the right kind of content. And the more and more you, you, you're putting stuff out there, the more and more you're learning about the audience that you're putting um, you know, content for. And then when you share your content to the right people at the right time, you become an authority. And this is where the magic happens. A lot of people might just put out the content, but they're not sharing it to the right audience. Don't be afraid to, you know, to, to shine in your, in, your, in your own glory. You know what I mean? Because the last thing you want to do is to share all that content that you create to everybody. Not everyone is your customer. Right? So for starters, it, it, it destroys whatever budget you might have right now. Worse off, you might become, um, you know, a, f a frequent, what, what, what can I say? Because if you're just sending information to people that don't understand why they need to be understanding it, you now become a, a pain in your audience life instead of becoming a relevant authority figure. So by putting out content, you then start knowing what is relevant, what do people actually re 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 respond to and do more of that. You know, and then also, like I said in the previous videos, not everyone in your audience is at the same stage in their business or in their life. Some people are already ready to make a purchase. Some people are discovering who you are and also discovering what problem they might be going through. And some people are just really can't be bothered. So, you know, some people would engage with you, whereas those that don't, don't worry about them. It's no longer about numbers. It's about being relevant. So if your segment of the audience, there's usually hot, hot leads, there's usually warm leads, and then there's the nurture leads. The more content you put out there, the more you are, you know, segmenting your audience, you know? And as you know, a hot audience is full of people that are going to be engaging with your content very often. You know, and they're always primed to take action. So you can't really be wasting money to them on a PR piece. All they want is videos that have got in-depth and practical information that they can use instantly and then ring you up and say, hey, tell me more. Or oh, how, how can we work together again? And then you also have that warm audience. Um, I think they don't normally engage with you very often, but... You just still need to share relevant content with them that brings them to the next step so that they can learn that you are actually the real deal and you're actually out there to make sure that they're getting, you know, the results that they're looking for. Now, the last bit is probably the people that you're nurturing. You know, these are the laggards. They, they don't, um, you know, take on information as soon as possible, but you can't really waste a budget on them by sharing how-to videos. They, they're not even interested, but... They want to know if you're the right kind of person with the right kind of information. So long form posts, videos, all of those things will help those people to bring them closer to, 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 to you and your buying, so to making a buying decision, you know? So there's different, you know, pieces of content that you need to be, um, you know, utilizing at different stages. And that just creates brand awareness in and of itself. So if you've got maybe five pieces of content going on in the market right now or in people's news feeds, do you think people will forget who you are? Because people will look you up. And guess what? Some people might not share your work, might not watch when you're talking, but they are listening, they're watching, and you can tell that you're making a difference in the, in the, in the, in the communities by the way people have started to do their business or do their work if your business entails people to, to evolve or, or change the way they do stuff. You know, so 
half of these things that I talked about, you might not even spend a lot of money to set it up. Just like this 30 minute live video. No matter if somebody's watching or nobody's watching, you don't spend money at all, but then it will constitute and create content for those people that will watch later on. Great look, my friend. How's it going, buddy? Hope you're having a fantastic uh, week so far. You know? So some people might be afraid of spending money because if you don't have money right now, you've got time. And if you notice all the big companies are throwing in big bucks into Facebook right now, every time I'm, I'm stumbling up, up, upon, you know, an, an advert from Tel, Telstra, I'm stumbling upon an advert from, um, um, you know, I, I'm stumbling an, an, upon an advert from Telstra, etc., etc., you know. And Tab says the blueprint is for real and it's spot on. Oh, well, when we created this blueprint, man, when you find the right kind of clients with the right kind of, and put them with the right kind of content, it's so relevant on so many, um, you know, subjects. And when you can actually convert these leads and creating, um, you know, the branding with, um, you know, your audience, it's, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm really proud to have. Um, created this and made this proprietary uh, to what I've got on there. So it's, you won't be spending as much money as we speak. You know, if you're sharing the relevant content to the right kind of people at the right time, you're not wasting money. You're actually investing in your business because all this content can always be re -gidged. You know, you can rejig it in such a way that you can, um, you know, create videos out of it or write blogs out of it, etc., etc. All you got to do right now and be, you know, diligent about is create as much brand awareness as you can from Facebook and then use it um, on a different platform that you can. Like I swear to you, this is the rocket fuel that will separate the, 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 the noise in the, in the newsfeed. It will separate the wheat from the chaff. Because the problem with most ad campaigns right now or the problem that people are going to be facing is... The same person sees the same advert again and again and again. And guess what that creates? It creates what's called ad fatigue. And when people start seeing the same thing, they become numb about it. And so if you're trying to build leads or sales, it could work. But not for brand awareness or a strategy. Because you will become you know, a frequent pain in this person's business and they don't like that. But if you're going to be known and stick in your, um, you know, your, your, your audience mind with, with branding and creating authority and relationships within them, you have to be putting out content that is relevant to them and you have to be omnipresent. All right. So I'm guessing with this approach, you're going to be reducing the money that you're going to be spending online. While other people are going on and on and on and on, trying to be, um, um, you know, huffing and puffing their chest, trying to be big, all you're doing is just creating for and relating to your audience. Now, Tav says the big versus small business war is now here. Um, who will be the 300 of Australian small businesses like legendary Spartan of the old? Is the secret weapon. Exactly. I was actually going to go there because... The Australian business online directory now is helping small businesses like yourself to be omnipresent. Okay. And the more you are seen, the more you put out content, the more you are relevant and you're combining forces with other small businesses. You no longer have to be operating, first of all, by yourself, huffing and puffing, and also trying to reach out to an audience that hasn't heard much about you because it's going to be expensive. You know, Facebook is actually making it harder and harder for you to reach out to your audience. And with this approach that I've just given you for being omnipresent and being relevant, first of all, you reduce the amount of money that you're going to be spending while you, you are remaining you consistently present to your audience lives. Because they are also being bombarded, they're confused, and they're looking for that person who is you, that's like um, a lighthouse in a windy storm that is bringing all the ships to, to, to the harbor, you know? So if you want to be notorious in your niche, if you want to be well known, this is actually the brand strategy to use. I've given you the tools and I've given you the platform for you to actually start utilizing for you to have an omnipresent existence in your client's life.
And if you wish to be famous in your industry, this is exactly how you want to proceed. Now, if you've watched this video up until this end, obviously you've gained a bit of insight of what's to come in the next 24 months. You've also gained the confidence to know that what you've been doing, creating for and relating to your audience is the actual way to actually create brand um, you know, awareness. Now, I can also help you by actually... Um, and, you know, I can also help you by actually, you know, being present for your audience and actually be seen and be relevant. Get in touch with me and let's actually see how we can make your business, um, you know, profitable and enjoyable in 2018 and tough. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'll speak to you later, buddy. And bye for now for everybody else that's watching. <laughs>